What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at a very cool product. No pun intended. Well, maybe a little pun intended. This is a portable cooler from the folks over at Everchill. Now, why is this thing so cool? Because it has an optional feature that you can add to this to make this thing truly portable. So let's talk about what this, uh, this cooler is all about, some of the features that might impress you because I've shown you something similar to it, but they've kind of taken this one to the next level. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so before I get this video started, you're gonna hear me mention this thing as a portable cooler uh, quite often, or a portable powered cooler quite often. But in reality, this is more like a portable refrigerator that also acts as a cooler. So I just wanna make that very clear from the very beginning, because if I compare this to a standard cooler, I'm not doing this justice. This is a refrigerator that you can take with you or take back in and plug in when you're done. So on to the video. All right, so you're probably familiar with the Everchill brand. Everchill might actually make the refrigerator that you have in your RV, whether it's a motorhome, a fifth wheel, travel trailer, pop-up. They kind of pioneered the use of 12 volt refrigerators in RVs, and you see them all over the place now. You see them you know, making these large French door style refrigerators to making the more compact ones that replace that gas electric option you had in the past. And they even kind of led the way for many of the more common brands to start moving to 12 volt refrigerators. So Everchill is largely the reason why you're seeing 12 volt refrigerators in your RVs. And they make a really reliable, awesome product. So that said, the folks over at eTrailer, my official channel sponsor, has the Everchill line and they decided to send me one of their portable coolers. Now, what is cool about this cooler other than the fact that it's cool? Well, the fact is that this does a lot of things that its chief competitor may not. Now, you guys probably remember I reviewed the Lion Cooler, which was the pioneer into the battery-powered portable cooler with a compressor built in it to provide you true mobile refrigeration. Now, this has that same feature. Um, some people will never use it for that. Some people will just take this with them in their vehicle or in their home or in their RV, plug it into a wall outlet or plug it into their 12 volt socket on their vehicle and use it like that. That way you're not worrying about a battery dying. It's really designed to be kind of like a car cooler, or an SUV or a pickup truck cooler to where you provide power to it when your vehicle's running and you can have a really, really awesome way to cool the things that you want to take with you, whether it be an RV trip, a camping trip, a day at the beach, or you're going fishing. It's just a great opportunity to have the ability to use less space for ice and more space for refrigerated products. So all that said, let's talk about the cosmetic aspect of this and what makes it a little bit different than what else is on the market. First of all, you get rubber tires. That's really cool. So on the other product, it doesn't have tires. Now, I don't know if they've released a product with tires, but these things can get kind of heavy. And if you're walking a long way, I know some folks will walk like a half a mile to get to a fishing spot or a mile or more even. And when you're carrying a cooler, it's not fun. So a lot of people will bring a tote or something with them that has wheels that they can pull it on. But you might want to use that for other stuff like tackle or something else. You know, having wheels and tires and a handle to pull it comes in really, really handy. Now, what makes this handle different? That's a great question. Look at the trigger release. So typically on coolers, you have these little buttons you have to press in, same as you might find on like retractable tables and things, and they're just a pain to deal with. This actually gives you a trigger on each side to extend and then collapse back in your handle. Very, very cool. This is just such an innovative way of doing it and it makes toting this thing around so much easier. When it's in, you can use this as a carrying handle. So if you wanna lift it up on your tailgate or the back of your SUV or into a boat, you can lift from here and then also on this side to do the same. So that's really nice. That's a feature I absolutely love about this. I love the wheels. I love the fact that you can tote it behind you. You also have a bottle opener. Believe it or not, uh, you know, that is probably one of the most asked for tools to be attached to various things, whether it be an RV, whether it be a pickup truck bed, a cooler, just about anything. Everyone wants a bottle opener because when you don't have one and you need one, you resort to creative ways of opening bottles and sometimes it involves losing or cracking teeth. So with a bottle opener built into it, it gives you that extra little bit of uh, functionality that you might be looking for. It gives you four little cup holders up top and it gives you a spot up here that looks like it's designed for a cutting board. So when you flip the lid open, you see you have a cutting board right here you can pop out. You can throw it up top here and you can start slicing and dicing whatever you want to slice and dice on top of your cooler, which is really nice. So they include the cutting board. Again, a feature that you don't even, I believe, have as an option on its competitor. 
When you're done with it, you throw it here. You have a nice rubber gasket that goes all the way around. The sidewalls on this feel very thick and it's a very heavy cooler, so I imagine it's all foam filled. So even if you plan on just using it while you're driving and then getting to where you're going, it can also continue to act as a standard cooler when you get to where you're going. Now, I just noticed something interesting, this little groove right here. Obviously, this lid is reversible, so you can probably pop it out like that. And I'm assuming you just pop it in right here, slide that in, right there, and it's reversed. That's really awesome. So I just realized that by looking at it, and I saw the little groove right here, and the same groove on the other side, which again, obviously means that the lid is reversible. So that's really cool. All right. All right, let's flip it back because I'm pretty sure I will be using it on this side. Like that okay so aside from that again this is where you would put your battery in this is where you plug in your power supply you have a solar charging option right here as well so you can feed solar to charge your battery when you get it up front on the panel here you have your power button so you can turn things on you try to get this at an angle where you can actually see it and you have dual zone so that's another big differentiation between this one and the other product that's on the market is that i have the ability to have this larger pocket right here at a different temperature than the smaller pocket right here so i could keep frozen goods on one side and refrigerated goods on the other side and i can adjust the temperature according to whatever i have inside of the cooler so that is really awesome down here you can adjust from eco mode to max mode. I don't know if you can see that. I got a bit of a glare right now. Let's see if I can move this a little bit. That's a little better. So now you can see max or eco mode. Shows you what voltage it's using. So it's running 14.1 volts, which is pretty much what you're going to see on most automotive vehicles um, when you have it plugged into the 12 volt system. And to set the temperature, I'm simply going to press up or down and it will put you in your, or plus or minus, and it will put you in your temperature changing modes for both separate compartments so the larger compartment let's say i want that to be my refrigerated i'm going to set that to 41 and then let's say in the frozen compartment i'm going to set that to negative four which is just about where i'd want it so it's kind of already preset for what recommendations are for cooling and for freezing so that's really nice as well and then also something else that's in the instructions is this battery protection mode where if you long press this little uh, gear button right here it will take you to selecting your high, medium, or load function right here. And what it says is due to the different output voltages between vehicles, high should be set when the product is connected to car power, and medium or low should be set when it's connected to a portable battery or other backup battery. So in essence, it's just letting you know specifically how much battery protection it's providing the battery system. That's interesting. It's unique. I haven't really seen that before. So now let's talk capacity. So this is a 55 quart cooler. Now what's really nice about this is the fact that it doesn't require ice. So why is that so important? Because let's say you were going to get a 55 quart Yeti or whatever size is comparable. If half of that space is taken up with ice, then you're only really getting a cooler that carries a much smaller amount. But because this is a 55 quart cooler, all of the space inside is set up so you can actually use it for cooling, for whatever you want inside of it. So that's really nice. So from a functionality perspective, it actually gives you a bit more functionality because you're not having to stuff this thing full of ice and then whatever you plan on cooling. And that's the same benefit that the Lion Cooler also had, was that, of course, when you have a battery-powered cooler or a cooler that's electric, it's like a refrigerator, right? Imagine if you had a 30 cubic foot refrigerator, but, you know, 20 cubic feet of it was stuffed with ice to keep the stuff inside of it cold. Well, you're not really utilizing that space as effectively. With this, because all the space is set up specifically for the thing you're going to put in the cooler, well, it makes a lot of sense that this is going to give you more, uh, more efficiency in terms of what you're going to specifically be able to cool and how much you'll be able to put inside of it. Now, from a price perspective, these aren't inexpensive. Uh, quite frankly, you're probably not going to find any inexpensive version of one of these, especially if it's capable of holding a battery. So that being said, whenever you think of the price of one of these, you also have to think of the fact that you're getting something that is more like a refrigerator versus a cooler. 
and it has a compressor and it has all the components of a refrigerator inside of it plus a freezer so you get both the refrigeration side of it as well as the freezing side of it so this carries a price of over eight hundred dollars and again you're getting a lot for that but just keep in mind that you can't really compare this against like a yeti you can't really compare it against those because this is more of a refrigerator again it's more of a portable refrigerator that you can take with you versus a cooler that has no power going to it doesn't have a compressor isn't going to be something that can really freeze what you're putting in it you have to put something frozen around ready in it. If you take this fishing with you and you want to freeze the fish you catch and this thing's cooled down, you can throw a fish in there and it will actually freeze it for you versus just keeping it cold or keeping it frozen if you pick it up at the store. So a lot of really cool perks to something like this. Absolutely a need. There are tons of people who get these. So even though it's priced at, you know, kind of at a level where you have to consider, is it worth it? If you're camping a lot, if you're going out, if you need something like this, or let's say you have a camper that traditionally wouldn't have a refrigerator, well, this is perfect because this can be your refrigerator and you can take it out of the RV when you're done, move it to the house, plug it in, and you really don't have to empty the thing out because again, you're simply moving a refrigerator from one environment to another. So very cool. Anyways, uh, I think the folks at eTrailer are going to send me a battery for this so we can actually do some testing um, and actually see how long, it, how long it lasts on a battery, right? How effective it is. Is this something that you can truly use off grid? Is this something you can truly use in an environment where you don't have any other form of power? And and how does solar impact it? So these are all things we want to take a closer look at. Anyways, I'm going to put a link to this in the video uh, description if you want to check it out. Again, my friends over at eTrailer, my channel sponsor, provided this to me for a review and evaluation on the channel at no charge. So I appreciate that. Um, I got tons of coolers now. I got tons of products like this that I've been testing. And quite frankly, I want to see how this thing holds up because it's really, really cool. And it just has a lot of great function for those who are looking for a portable refrigerator. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.